Today I'm gonna show you how can we use topology optimization for multi-physics problems. So um, I want to show you how can we um, optimize um, a static low case and a thermal load case and combine it. On the right hand side and the left hand side you can see your, a model which looks like a tree. And this one is the optimization for a um, heat exchanger. On the root of this tree, you can see um, the, there's uh, the thermal load acting, and the heating should transfer to um, the environment, and this is the optimized structure. The other one in the middle um, of the slide, there's a the static load case. Our force is acting on the nose of the structure, and on the left, um, it's um, a fixed. Um, the displacement is fixed. Okay, and how will this look like? First, the strategy. And we have two problems. We can both optimize it um, themselves, but how can we combine it? And that's the question of this um, topic. The second one is how can we get an application in? Um, well, if you program it in two weeks you can get an application which can um, solve thermal and static load cases and combine it. The last one is how can we um, use the geometry of this topology optimization. We know that um, the result is always on a final element mesh and not a smooth geometry and now I want to show you how can we use it directly with no effort for um, drawing by yourself. Okay, let's start. So optimization problem. What what we want is we want to minimize the strain energy. So I call it EDAN. What we have is a design variable. It's a normalized um, density. And the restriction are I have a design space, omega G, and our solution space, omega L. And then I have a factor called omega ratio. And I want to say, okay. I um, want our um, omega d, omega l over omega d should um, be lower than omega ratio. That's the restriction or equal omega ratio. And the other one are um, zero minus um, the nominalized density is lower than zero, and omega and the nominalized density minus one is lower than zero. This means that the nominalized um, Nominalized density should be between 0 and 1. We have three rest restrictions during the optimization. But on the right hand side, you can see a design space, it's here. And on this design space, um, um, the solution can um, transform. So for example, you get this black marked solution for uh, your new um, structure. So the omega L to omega design space is approximately 2 over 5. Okay, and how should, will it look like? We have a design space and a definition and a final element mesh. All these elements are in omega D. The black market, um, omega D and the density distribution are in um, omega L. And if we kill the white elements, we get our solution. So omega L over omega D is equal to omega ratio. That's the whole topic on topology optimization. We know this is how it works. And on the next slide, we see it a little bit um, better what, would, what, will, what, what is need to be done. Okay, first we need to define the problem. In this case, it's a static load case. On the left and on the right hand side, there are two um, To boundary conditions, as so I mean this this one here. And what we will do is we use a final element problem. So in the first iteration, we use it on the um, actual problem, so on the definition of the problem. And in each iteration step, which is um, occurring, we will um, do it on the problem with um, a material distribution. So. We will do it on this one with a black element and white element. Okay. After the finite element analysis, 
we use a sensitivity analysis. We want to know how should we, um, um, where should be the black one and the white ones. And this is can, this can be done by a sensitivity analysis. If you do this, we can see okay the maximum the red one are very high and the blue one are very um, low. And we need this for the method of moving asymptotes on the next slide. So we use a bar and we use only the high elements for our next finite element step. So if you do that, we get on the red one, on the maximum one, we get the black elements and the rest is white. Then we do this thing um, always and always again till the um, result is converging. And after that we get this bridge structure for this problem. Okay, now we know a little bit how it will be works, but the, the main problem in this case is how can we get the sensitivity analysis? How can we know um, where the um, black one and the white one should be? And this can be done by a material law. There are uh, several material laws. Uh, one is the soft kill Bezo method. This means there is um, no material and there is material but there's, there's nothing between. And the other one, the standard one, is the SIMP method. Um, this means there's an exponent, exponential equation um, which defines the elasticity, the Young module. The other one is the STEP method. I did it by myself because I need it for my um, tool which I programmed by myself. And yeah. What you can see on the left hand side, you can see the normal, normalized material um, value, Young module from the element um, through the Young module of the material. And on the, on the, on the bottom of this line, on the y, on the x axis, you can see the normalized um, density. And how will it look like? Well, this is on the main our um, example and if you do the simp method on this example um, in the first iteration we get a, a density distribution and after 30 40 iterations we get a converged result and this is our um, result for this problem if you use the Bezo method we need uh, another um, um, we need another way first of all in the in the Bezo method, you delete particular um, always um, um, some material from step to step, and after some um, um, I I won't go in detail, but after some steps, um, you get the, the the right omega l to omega d ratio, and this is your converged result. So in the first, you have always omega l to omega d um, of zero point five. But it's a material distribu distribution, a density distribution, and on the piezo method you have only um, full density and zero density, and with that you always need to delete over step to step um, some material. Okay, we have a material, but we don't know how will it be. Uh, will it go from iteration one to iteration fifteen, for example, or from iteration one to iteration two, and this will be done.